Thanks, Olivia. Uh, looks like you guys are having a ton of fun over there. Um, I'm Sarah. I'm the founder and CCO of SheFit, and I'm so excited to be sharing SheFit sisterhood stories with you. And today we have Daisha. Uh, Daisha, thanks so much for coming in and being a part of this. You got some big rings on your <laughs> fingers, and before we get there, I want to tell everyone what those represent. But those represent the national championships, two-time national collegiate yes. dance championship dancer coach sitting right here with us today. And I'm so excited to be sharing your story with everyone. So tell us, I mean, what makes this little Davenport University D3 school have a two-time national dance, dance champion team? Um, I think that a lot of it comes from Michigan native dancers. Mm -hmm. I know that all of us, especially from people in Detroit and um, around here, we have just a very good mix of people that are from Michigan and um, out of Michigan, but it's just a beautiful team. So tell me about how you got started in dance and how that's become such a huge part of your life. Well, my mom put me in it when I was younger just because she thought I was too hyper to do any other okay. sport. Okay. So she thought, well, thought putting, me, calm you down. Yeah, she was putting me in dance for a couple hours a day will really? make me calm down. Yeah, and it, it did. And so how long, are you, when did you start dancing? I was four years old. What did it do for you? How did that shape who you are today? Um, it gave me a sense of determination drive really early on. A lot mm -hmm. of kids really don't develop that mm -hmm. until a couple of years but being competing so early mm -hmm. in my life and going to competitions and seeing all the different dancers so early on it made me it gave me drive you you have shared openly that you don't have the typical dancer's body oh, right no. No. and so um share with us a little bit about how you've overcame that stereotype um a lot of it had to do with me trying to compete with my teammates and other dancers um, it was really hard to compare myself to them when I was younger just yeah. because I couldn't jump higher or dance as well as them, sure. but I knew that I could outperform them. So sure. it gave me a drive to meet them in certain ways and technical ways, but then outperform them. Not being comfortable in your own body and not having the tools to be comfortable like bras and things and active wear to conform to your body yeah. and help you when you're dancing um, was really hard. It did hurt my confidence a lot, um, especially in college, just because we had to wear like little yeah. outfits yeah. that people with that weren't busty could yeah. just wear without a bra. And I had to wear like three at a time. I think that's a really important topic. And I'm really glad that mm -hmm. you're like open and talking about that because mm -hmm. I think so many of our she fit sisters and our sisterhood can relate to mm -hmm. what, whether it's dancing or not, just at some point, not feeling 100% comfortable in their skin, but mm -hmm. then not letting that overtake their ability to do something they know they're capable of doing and they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. And so I think that your story could actually resonate with so many other women. So so talk a little bit. I know um, you had shared with me a little bit of, uh, earlier and I got some information before you got here. So mm -hmm. um, that you wanted to undertake a breast reduction. Yes. So, so um, how come you how come you want to do that? Um, just for medical reasons, mm -hmm. I, they told me that my spine is starting to move and bend mm -hmm. in ways that it probably shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Well, when you have bigger boobs, it's, um, it pulls from yeah. your shoulders. So when you can't tighten them or pull back, mm -hmm. there's no way that you can use your full range mm -hmm. in, in dance and soccer and football and anything. Absolutely. Um, but when I found SheFit, it, when you could tighten under and above, it pulled me back and gave me more range and I can move my arms and move my body in a different way. It was like a breath of fresh air, I think. Like <laughs> I not having that. to, actually being able to breathe and not feeling so tight with yeah. all the bras on and actually being able to dance and use my full range, I just, it was a dream come true. Really, Seriously. I, I love it. It's like, ah! yeah, like, I know, the gates open, right? And it does, it makes such a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Even for our athletes that, that are not bigger busted, just to have some type of advantage, yeah. something to give you an edge, mm -hmm. makes a huge difference, right, oh, yeah. mentally, too, as an athlete, you know? I think that when, especially when younger kids are actually developing and their bodies are changing, there's no way to feel comfortable unless you're supported. Oh, my God, that is such a great statement. Like, literally... <laughs> like goosebumps because even for the moms out there that are watching like I hope that they hear that because you touched on something that makes such a huge impact mm -hmm. on, an, on an athlete at such an early age and it makes such a difference. When I see somebody um, doing things that I did 
in college and not feeling comfortable, I try to give them the tools, like you, like I said before, to overcome whatever their adversities. And I know that there's a couple people on the team that do that are big busted. And I'm like, okay, well, guess what? I have something for you. Yeah. Here's this bra. Yeah. Go get it. Yeah. I love that. I love that. If you could share one thing with our SheFit sisterhood uh, right now, what would it be? Body positivity isn't an everyday thing. I think that a lot of people think that body positivity is waking up every single day and thinking my body is beautiful. There's up days and there's down days. It's just making sure that there's a balance is better than being low on yourself. I think that a lot of people expect body, body positivity to just be a straight line and instead to um, appreciate the ups and downs of it. Oh my God, I, I love that. That's so great <laughs> because every day isn't going to be isn't going to be good. Right. Every day isn't going to be perfect. Mm. And and when you look in the mirror, you got it's a continuous like reminder because yeah. we all have flaws and imperfections and things that we don't love, but it's that embracing and loving and 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 moving on and being okay and just figuring out ways to to love yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a great message. And Daisha, thanks so much for sharing your story yeah, with us. No I problem. think it's really great that you did that. Um, I'm so excited for you and the Davenport uh, dance team this year. I'm sure <laughs> you're going to you. have another national championships on your hand. Hopefully. And back to you guys, Olivia. I'm sure you guys are getting sweaty over there so what's up with you guys over there now